Hi friends, welcome to SPR Wheels Travel Channel. Great to see you again with another video. Thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel. Today's destination is Antelope Island State Park. Antelope Island State Park is located in Davis County, Utah, United States. Antelope Island and the Great Salt Lake are incredible natural wonders. Size, approximately 1700 square miles, 4 to 400 km. Depth, average 13 feet, 4 meters, Maximum 35 feet 11 meters. Elevation 4200 feet 1280 meters above sea level. Meaning of antelope, a large animal that looks like a deer with wide branching horns. Island features, home to a diverse range of wildlife, including bison, pronghorn antelope, bighorn sheep, birds over 200 species. Unique geological formations, including volcanic rocks, sedimentary deposits, scenic hiking trails and viewpoints, historic sites, including ancient Native American petroglyphs, Great Salt Lake's ecological importance, critical stopover for migratory birds, millions annually, supports commercial brine, shrimp and mineral extraction industries, provides habitat for unique microorganisms and algae, affects local climate and weather patterns. Here's an overview of the roads and drives around Antelope Island and the Great Salt Lake. Drives and Scenic Routes Antelope Island Drive, a 45-mile, 72-kilometer scenic drive around the island, offering stunning views of the Great Salt Lake and surrounding landscape. Great Salt Lake Scenic Byway, a 117-mile, 188-kilometer route that encircles the lake, passing through diverse landscapes and communities. Causeway Drive connects Antelope Island to the mainland, offering breathtaking views of the lake. Located on Utah's Antelope Island, the Fieldingar Ranch is a historic farm and museum showcasing Utah's agricultural and cultural heritage. Farm Overview 1000 Acre Working Farm and Museum Founded in 1852 by Mormon pioneer Fieldingar. It operated as a cattle, sheep and dairy farm until the 1930s. Acquired by Utah State Parks and Recreation in 1969. Museum and Exhibitions Ranching and Agricultural Exhibits a showcase of historic farming equipment and techniques. Carr Family History Glimpses of the life and legacy of Fielding, Carr and his family. Island History Showcases the natural and cultural history of Antelope Island. Livestock and Wildlife Exhibits featuring the island's diverse wildlife. Unique Landscape Antelope Island and Great Salt Lake offer breathtaking, one-of-a-kind vistas. Abundant Wildlife Visitors praise the island's diverse wildlife, including bison, antelope, and birds. Scenic Drives The causeway and island roads provide stunning views of the lake and surrounding landscape. Historic Significance Fielding Gar, Ranch, and other historic sites add depth to the location. Solitude Visitors appreciate the peaceful atmosphere and lack of crowds. Bring binoculars for wildlife viewing. Pack water, snacks, and sun protection. Respect wildlife and maintain a safe distance. Check weather forecasts and road conditions. Explore the island's lesser known areas. Antelope Island State Park is a Utah state park and the entire island is included in the park. Early in the 20th century, because of its wildlife and scenery, some suggested that Antelope Island should become a national park, but the movement never came to fruition. When the Utah State Park system was created, proposals were made to turn Antelope Island into Antelope Island State Park and the proposal gradually gathered public support. But Antelope Island was privately owned at the time. Originally, what Antelope Island was used as a ranch for cattle and sheep, starting from the earliest days of the arrival of the Mormon pioneers into the Salt Lake Valley. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Mormons, controlled the ranch on the island from 1848 until approximately 1870. The island was purchased in 1870 by John Dooley Sr and he established the Island Improvement Company, which managed the island and ranches from 1884 until 1981. The state of Utah purchased the northern part of the island, 2,000 acres, 801 kilometers, in 1969, and acquired the remainder in 1981, when the state purchased the historical Fieldinger Ranch. Subsequently, the cattle and sheep were removed. 
Antelope Island State Park was established in 1981 as part of the Utah State Park system. Fielding Gar Ranch on Antelope Island, Utah offers a unique goat herding experience. Near the historic ranch house, approximately one acre, sturdy, four-foot-high fencing to ensure goat safety. A three-sided shed provides protection from wind, rain, and sun. Fielding Gar Ranch, the first Anglo-Americans to reach the island were John C. Fremont and Kit Carson. They explored Antelope Island in 1845 and named the island for the herds of grazing pronghorn. Captain Howard Stansbury used the island as a base. He mapped the lake and attempted to locate where the waters of the lake drained in an attempt to find a waterway to the Pacific Ocean. The first permanent settler on the island was Fielding Gar. Gar was sent to the island by LDS Church to establish a ranch for the church tithing herds. The Fielding Gar Ranch was owned and operated by the church until the 1870s for the purpose of providing funds for the Perpetual Emigration Fund. This fund financed the immigration of Mormon converts from Europe to Utah. The ranch house, built in 1848, still stands and is the oldest Mormon-built home that is still on its original foundation in Utah. Fielding Gar Ranch, the first Anglo-Americans to reach the island, were John C. Fremont and Kit Carson. They explored Antelope Island in 1845 and named the island for the herds of grazing pronghorn. Captain Howard Stansbury used the island as a base. He mapped the lake and attempted to locate where the waters of the lake drained in an attempt to find a waterway to the Pacific Ocean. The first permanent Native Americans. Archaeological evidence dates the earliest habitation of Native Americans in Utah to about 10,000 to 12,000 years ago. Paleolithic people lived near the Great Basin's wetlands, which had an abundance of fish, birds, and small game animals. Big game, including giant bison, mammoths, and ground sloths, were also attracted to the water sources. Over the years, the megafauna disappeared, while American bison, mule deer, and pronghorn became more predominant. Around 8000 BC, this population was replaced by the desert archaic people, who sheltered in caves near the Great Salt Lake. Relying more on gathering than the previous Utah residents, their diet was largely made of cattails and other salt-tolerant plants such as pickleweed, burrowweed, and sedge. Red meat appears to have been a luxury. The desert archaic people used nets and the atletal to hunt waterfowl, small animals, and pronghorns. Artifacts include nets woven with rabbit skin and plant fibers gaming sticks, woven sandals and animal figures made from split twigs. About 3-500 years ago, Lake levels rose and the population of desert archaic people appears to have dramatically decreased. Artifacts discovered at Antelope Island State Park show that the island was occupied by prehistoric peoples more than 6,000 years ago. There are 40 freshwater springs on Antelope Island. The Fielding Gar Ranch was built near the strongest and most consistent of the springs. Archaeologists have determined that human activity has taken place near these springs for at least 1,000 years. Antelope Island State Park is surrounded by the Great Salt Lake. The lake is the last remaining part of a vast inland Pleistocene sea, Lake Bonneville. At more than 1,000 feet, 305 meter deep, and more than 9,691 square miles, 51,000 kilometer in area, the lake was nearly as large as Lake Michigan and significantly deeper. With the change in climate, the lake began drying up, leaving Great Salt Lake, Utah Lake, Sevier Lake and Rush Lake as remnants. As Lake Bonneville receded, it left behind the Great Basin, which is made of narrow mountain ranges and broad valleys known locally as basins. The Great Salt Lake is endorheic and has very high salinity, far saltier than seawater. The Jordan, Weber and Bear Rivers deposit around 1.1 million tons of minerals in the lake each year. Due to its high salt concentration, most people can easily float in the lake as a result of the high density of the water. The Great Salt Lake is the fourth largest terminal lake in the world. In an average year, the lake covers an area of approximately 1,700 square miles, 4,400 kilometer. But the lake's size fluctuates due to low water levels. For example, in 1963, it reached its lowest recorded level at 950 square miles, 2460 kilometer. But in 1987, the surface area was at the historic high of 3,300 square miles. 8500 km. Great Salt Lake does not support fish, but does support large numbers of brine shrimp and brine flies which provide food for visiting waterfowl. 
because of the high salinity the island is mostly without readily available fresh water antelope island state park is open for year round recreation it features a marina beach campground and hiking trails tourists pay a fee to access the park via the island's causeways the northern 2000 acres are developed there are several campsites a day use area swimming area and picnic areas near bridger bay on the northwestern end of the island there is a restaurant located near the bridger bay beach access the rest of the park is largely undeveloped a few old roads cross the island and so do some hiking trails the remnants of old mining claims and the fielding gar ranch are open to park visitors there is a historic boat display in the marina antelope island great salt lake state park is an amazing place to visit and a beautiful place thanks for watching this video if you like this video share your family and friends like share and comment subscribe to this channel if you haven't already see you again in a similar video thank you goodbye